the inspector general of police mohammed adamu who briefed state house correspondent after the meeting with the president said ballot box snatching both vote buying thuggery will never be allowed and anybody that is planning to snatch ballot box or planning to use as a tout will have he or herself to blame on election day anybody that is planning to snatch ballot boxes or is planning to um, be allowed to use as a tout will have his himself or herself to blame on the election day so you better don't even allow yourself to be used the IG said every Nigerian is encouraged to come out on election day and cast his or her vote without any fear of molestation. The security personnel are ready and prepared to protect everybody. Also briefing Kaduna State Governor Malin Nasur Erifai, briefing the journalists at the end of the meeting, noticed significant improvement in the affected state of Borno, Yobe, Adamawa and Kaduna. We noted the significant improvement in the security situation across our states in spite of the challenges and thanked the federal government for making available its security assets uh, to the states anytime we needed them that has led to some level of stabilization of the situation. He said there is no reason why election will not hold in affected state because there is significant improvement in security situation in those states. Erify said governors receive assurance from the president that whatever additional security asset they need in addition to what is already on ground will be given to them to ensure that elections are held peacefully in their states. Shedding more light on the situation in Kajuru local government area of Kaduna state, the governor said the number of people killed had since increased from 66 to 130. The last report we got is that over 130 people were killed, not even 66. Okay, and the Fulani leaders have provided the names of all these people. We have the list, we will release it to the press. On his part, Borno State Governor Kashin Shetima spoke on the recent attack on his convoy by Boko Haram terrorists. The attack on my convoy. When you just support, as I have always said, the sorry state of affairs in the northeast four years ago and what it is now. There has been a sea change in our fortune security-wise. This, this. The governor noted that the security situation in Borno has greatly improved and President Muhammad Buhari deserves commendation for the improvement. From State House Abuja, Hassan Umar Farouk, Liberty News.